Hi guys, this is Zainab Zaytun. In this video, I'll be explaining statistics for grade 9. The objectives of this video is to define statistical terms, define and calculate relative frequency, cumulative frequency, and cumulative relative frequency, and define and calculate the mean of a distribution. First, what's the statistics? Statistics is a study on a certain population that might be humans, animals, plants, etc. on one or more of their characters. So what's the population? The population is the set used to make observations and to carry out a statistical study. So if you're making a study, so the set that you're making the study on is called population, while each element of this population is called individual. Now what's characters? Characters is the aspect or character is the aspect studied over the population. So what you are studying, so you might be studying the grades of a certain class, the age of a certain population, color of eyes, sex of a person, all these are, are called characters. So these characters can be either quantitative or qualitative. What's the difference? They are called quantitative if you can measure them by numbers. So like grades, age or height, weight, for example. And they are called qualitative characters if they can't be measured by numbers like color of eyes, sex of a person. Example, if the height of the grade 9 students is to be studied, then what's the population? The population, as we said before, is the set that you are making the study on, right? So here, the population that, that you are making the study on is grade 9 students. So this is the population. Recall that the individual is each element of the population, so it would be each student of grade 9. Now, what's the character? What's the aspect studied here? It's the height of grade 9 students, so the character would be height. What's the type of this character? Is it quantitative or qualitative? Since it can be measured by numbers, then it's quantitative. Now, let's define frequencies. Before defining these terms, I'd like to define them through this example. So, suppose that we are studying the age of grade 9 students in a certain class, and we got these results. So, uh, the students of this class are either 13 or 14 or 15 years old. And after doing this study, we noticed that three of the students are 13 years old, 18 of the students are 14 years old, and four of the students are 15 years old. So these numbers represent the frequency. So the frequency, so we say that the frequency of 13 is 3, the frequency is of 14 is 18, and so on. So again, what does the frequency of 14 is 18 mean? It means that 18 of the students are 14 years old. Hence, we define the frequency as the number of individuals that verify a value of a certain character. So the number of individuals that verify uh, this value of the character, which is age in this case, is 18. Now, what's the total frequency? The total frequency is the number of individuals of population. So here, the number of students of grade 9. So how do we get the total number of students of grade 9 if it's not given? So if you have the frequencies, you just sum them up to get 25, which is the total frequency. And this is, again, the same as the number of students in this class. Now, relative frequency of a certain value is the ratio. Frequency of the value over the total frequency. And it ranges between 0 and 1. So, the relative frequency of 13 would be the frequency of 13 over the total frequency. So, it would be 3 over the total frequency, which is 25. So, 3 over 25, which will give you 0 0.12. Again, the relative frequency of 14 is the frequency of 14 over the total frequency. So it's 18 over 25, which is 0 0.72. Same here. Remember that the relative frequency ranges between 0 and 1. And this is true because you're dividing by the total frequency, which is for sure higher than the frequency of any value. Uh, now you should also know that the sum of the relative frequencies is always 1. What's the significance of relative frequency? Uh, when the relative frequency is closer to 1, this means that it has a high frequency. And if it's closer to 0, this means that it has a low frequency. So for example, this one is the closest 1 to 1. 14 has the closest relative frequency to 1, which is 0 0.72. Uh, you can notice that it has the highest frequency. Now, 13 has the uh, closest relative frequency to 0. 
uh, and you can notice that it has the lower frequency. Now, relative frequency in percentage, so how, to, how do you convert this ratio into percentage? So you just multiply it by 100. So it's the relative frequency times 100, and it ranges between 0 and 100. So for example, 0 0.12 times 100, it will give you 12%, and so on. Also notice that the sum of the relative frequency in percentage would be 100, and the sum of the relative frequency is 1. Keep this in mind. Relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency. Let's start with cumulative frequency. There are two types of cumulative frequency. You have increasing cumulative frequency or decreasing cumulative frequency. What's the difference? Increasing cumulative frequency uh, of a certain value, let's call it x, is the sum of frequencies whose character value is less than or equal to x. Why the decreasing cumulative frequency of x is the sum of frequencies whose character value is greater than or equal to x. Let's do an example before explaining this. So suppose that the grades of grade 9 students out of 20 is to be studied. You have the grades which ranges between 8 and 18. Uh, now the frequency of 8 is 2, the frequency of 11 is 4. This means that 11, 4 students got the grade 11 and so on. Now how do you get the total frequency? You just add the frequencies, you get 19. What does this number represent? Remember that the total frequency represents the number of individuals in a population, so it represents the total number of students in this class. Now, how do we calculate the increasing cumulative frequency and decreasing cumulative frequency? Let's go back to the definition of increasing cumulative frequency. So, increasing cumulative frequency of x is the sum of frequencies whose character value is less than or equal to x. So, the increasing cumulative frequency of 8 would be the frequency of 8 pl plus the frequencies of all the grades which are less than 8. So we don't have any grade which is less than 8, so it would only be 2. Now, the increasing cumulative frequency of 11 is the frequency of 11 and the frequencies of the previous grades, which is 8. So it would be 4 plus 2, you get 6. Now, the increasing cumulative frequency of 13 would be the frequency of 13, which is 5, plus the frequencies of the previous grades, which are 4 and 2. So 5 plus 4 plus 2, you'll get 11. For 15, you do the same, so it's 5 plus 5, 10, plus 4, 14, plus 2, you get 16. Same for 18, it's 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2, so you get 19. As you notice, it's, uh, this method is time-consuming, so every time you need to add the frequency of the value and all the previous frequencies. So I'll do a shortcut for this method. So here for 8, uh, it's, ju it's just the same, so the, the increasing cumulative frequency would be 2, so you put the same frequency of 8. Now, for 11, it would be the frequency of 11, which is 4, plus the increasing cumulative frequency of 8, which is 2, so you get 6. Now here you'll notice the difference. So the increase, increasing cumulative, of, cumulative frequency of 13, instead of doing 5 plus 4 plus 2, you do the frequency of 13 plus the increasing cumulative frequency of 11, because the increasing cumulative frequency of 11 would be this value plus this value. So instead of adding them again, you just add 6. So the increasing cumulative frequency of 13 is 5 plus 6, which is 11. So do the same for 15. So the increasing cumulative value of increasing cumulative frequency of 15 would be the frequency of 15, which is 5, plus the increasing cumulative frequency of 13, which is 11. So 5 plus 11 is 16. Same for 18, it would be 3 plus 16 which is again 19. I repeat it again very quickly, uh, so you should be able to do it in this way. So the, for the first value, you drop the same frequency. For the second one, it's 4 plus 2, which is 6. Now it's 5 plus 6, which is 11. For 15, it's 5 plus 11, which is 16. For 18, it's a 3 plus 19, 
plus 16 which is 19. Now decreasing cumulative frequency as I said is the sum of the frequencies uh, whose character value is greater than or equal to x. So the decreasing cumulative frequency of 8 would be the frequency of 8 plus the frequencies of all the, the values that are greater than 8. So it's 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3 which is 19. For 11 it would be 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3. So it would be 17. For 13 it would be the frequency of 13 plus the frequencies of the grades which are higher than 13. So 13. For 15, it would, it would be 5 plus 3, so you'll get 8, and for 18, you'll just get 3. Again, this method is time-consuming, so I'll give you a short, shorter method. So, in order to get the decreasing cumulative frequencies, you start from the right now, and you do the same method as we did in the increasing cumulative frequency, but the only difference is that we're starting from the right. So, for 18, we drop the same frequency, which is 3. Now, for 15, you add the the frequency of 15 which is 5 plus the decreasing cumulative frequency of 18 which is 8. For 13 you, you add the frequency of 13 which is 5 plus the decreasing cumulative frequency of 15 which is 8 so you get 13. For 11 you do the same 4 plus 13 will give you 17. For 8 you'll do the same 2 plus 17 you'll get 19. Now increasing or decreasing cumulative relative frequency is the increasing or decreasing cumulative frequency over the total frequency so it's the same concept as the relative frequency which is the frequency over the, over the total frequency but in that case you're dividing cum cumulative frequency over total frequency so for example uh, what's the increasing cumulative relative frequency of 13 so it's the increasing cumulative frequency of 13 which is 11 over the total frequency which is 19 and the decreasing cumulative relative frequency of 15 would be 8 the decreasing cumulative frequency over the total frequency which is 19 uh, we need to define the mean and calculate it the mean is the same as the average so for example if I want to calculate the average of the grades in my class how do I do that suppose that you have this table so in order to calculate the mean of this study uh, you multiply the first value by its frequency plus the second value by its frequency and so on and you divide them by the total frequency let's apply this rule on the previous table um, so this was the previous uh, table so in order to calculate the mean it's the first value times its frequency plus the second value times its frequency and so on over the total frequency which is 19 so it's 8 times 2 plus 11 times 4 plus 13 times 5 plus 15 times 5 plus 18 times 3 all over 19 and you get the answer this application fill the table below it shows the number of books read by each student in a class during a month so um, you have the frequencies so let's start by filling this. The total frequency would be the sum of the sum of all frequencies. So it would be 18 if you add them up. Now the relative frequency in percentage is the relative frequency times 100. So for for zero, it's the frequency over the total frequency times 100. So it would be 4 over 18 times 100. For this one, it would be 8 over 18 times 100 and so on. Now for the total of the relative frequency in percentage, you know already that it's 100. Uh, now let's do the increasing cumulative frequency um, so we'll do the quick method so for the first one you drop the same frequency which is 4 for the second one it's 8 plus 4 so you get 12 for 2 it's 3 plus 12 so you get 15 then 2 plus 15 you get 17 then 1 plus 17 you get 18 and there's no total for the increasing or decreasing cumulative frequency now here we will do also the quick method. So we'll start from the right. We drop the same frequency, which is one. Now we do one. Uh, no, now we do two plus eighteen, so you get for three. It's two plus one, so you get three. For two, it's three plus three, so you get six. Then for one, it's eight plus six, you get fourteen. For zero, it's four plus fourteen, you get eighteen. Now calculate the mean of this distribution. So apply the previous uh, rule and you'll get 1.389. That's all for this part. I'll continue the rest of the chapter in the next videos.